Hello, welcome in Milford Scarlet Hawk lacrosse fans. Today we have Milford versus Hopedale here at Milford High School. On the faceoff, number one, Brian Soro for Hopedale has the ball. He's going to work up top looking for someone to pass to over to number nine who I don't have on a roster, so he's a mystery man, number nine there. Um, had to rush to get the roster today, so Hopedale, we might have a couple of incorrect names, so we apologize. But thanks for tuning in. I'm Bobby Moonchild. On camera is Neilan Reisman, and this is our first lacrosse game ever. So bear with us, as we're probably going to make a lot of mistakes. But Hopedale's got the ball right now, working around the outside, over to nine. And inside to four, and he throws it over the net wide. In net, in goal for Milford, the Milford Scarlet Hawks, is Evan Hazard. He goes by the nickname the Beave. And he has one of the best save percentages in the league right now. So we'll keep an eye on him, how he does in net. Small in stature, but a great net miner nonetheless. Hopedale, again, working on the outside. Number four. Over back to number five, over to nine. We might be able to get number nine's name eventually. Uh, 20 with the shot. Number 20 is Blake Moxim. And Milford's going to get control of the ball now. Hazard with the ball behind the net. Hazard taking a long walk into the middle of the field. And Hopedale's going to pick up that pass, number 13. Isaac Moore, he throws it out of bounds. Milford's going to gain control here. Behind the net now is Milford, number 20. Loses the ball. Number 20 is Josh Lagore. Here's number five for Hopedale. And that is Tyler Small. Small over to Soro. Over to nine. Over to number four, Nick Fayad. Fayad, sorry, excuse me if I mispronounce that. And Hopetail remains in control, and they score number four. Nick Fayad. Nice low shot bouncer on the outside corner. Caught Hazard off guard. And he's upset with himself. And they go back to the middle for the faceoff. So it's one nothing. Raiders, while I update the scoreboard. Two-man crew here today, so again, bear with us, but trying to bring you as much coverage today as possible as we are also covering softball live at the softball field right next to us here at Milford High School. Number nine for Milford fighting for the ball. That's Ryan Hazard. I'm assuming relation to Beeves and Nett. All right, number one taking all the way down and right inside works it to 21. Ethan Warren. So Brian Soreau brings it right down the middle. Has no problem getting it to Ethan Warren right at the top of the crease, and he scores easily to make it 2 nothing. Hopedale. Hopedale with a 6 nothing record so far this season. And they are showing Milford why they have that 6 nothing record. Milford coming in with a record of 2-3 and three here on the faceoff now again after they reset. Number 
Number 14 for Milford. Jack LeBlanc on the faceoff loses it to Hopedale. <clears throat> In net for Hopedale is number seven, Dan Hollis. Here's 11 for Hopedale, Robbie Seifering. He brings it up to mid midfield, gives it over to number one, Soro. Soro looking for a man over to number nine. Back to five to nine. Fayad behind the net, the net, and he's already scored one. He's going to work it outside. And number 20 takes a shot, and that's collected by Hazard. Number 20 is Blake Moxham. Hazard to his brother Hazard, Ryan Hazard. And he gets it knocked out of his stick, but he collects it back. And shot on net. Big, big contact there on Brendan White. If anyone could take a hit, it's Brendan White. Really tough. Plays football and basketball. Here's White. And that's a warding call. He was using his... Hand to fend off the defender, your free hand, you can't do that. So that's a turnover back to Hopedale. <clears throat> Here's the goalie bringing it out for Hopedale, and that pass is out of bounds. Chase Blanchett now, number 24, with the ball for Milford. He's going to bring it up the left side. And that should be a slash, but no call there. That was directly on his helmet. Oh, there is a penalty. Okay, they should have a power play here. All right, so the flag is thrown. And that was a big old slash right on the top of his head. Let's hope he's okay. Yeah, you can't slash on the top of the head or the back. But the fun thing about lacrosse is you can pretty much slash anywhere else. Um, but that is a no-no. So Milford's going to go on the man advantage here. So let's hope they get some chances to score as it stands 2-0. Oh, and another penalty will be assessed here as the... Referee says, hey, you got to let me know about the timeout before you just take it. So we might have offsetting penalties here. All right, Hopetail has the ball. All right, Soro out top gets it over to 20, back to number nine. 20 is Blake Moxham. <clears throat> top to nine. The mystery man, number four. Is Nick Fayad goal scorer? Uh, goal scorer earlier in the game, he works his way around number nine, Ryan Hazard. Back up top to Soro. Soro looking for an opening here, worked by number 24 for Milford, Chase Blanchett. So 
so far not a lot of tremendous action from either team. It's both being a bit passive looking for openings early in the game here, trying to get a feel for each other's tendencies. Moxham tries to fire a pass inside. That gets blocked away. Here's Saro again. Inside. Here's a shot from number five, Tyler Small for Hopedale. Still a lot of time here in this first quarter. Five minutes to go. Two nothing, Hopedale. Behind the net is number 21 for Hopedale, Ethan Warren. He brings it inside the shot. Oh, pass. Nice pass inside to Soro. Soro brings it all the way out. And over the head of Hazard, and that's going to go out of bounds on the shot. That was last touched by Milford, so Hopedale's going to bring it back in. Number four, Nick Fayad brings it behind the net over to 20. Mocks him. And something happened there, and Milford gets the ball back. Ryan Hazard brings it up to. Oh, and we have a. Delayed penalty here on Hopedale, so Milford will work it around here with the man advantage. Number four, <clears throat> Brendan White brings it inside, gets the ball knocked away. Hopedale gets possession, and we'll see what the call is here. Offsides call. So number four for Hopedale, Nick Fayad was offside, so he's going to sit in the box for a few. And here's Milford with the man advantage. Let's see if they can take advantage. Being down 2-0, they, they could use a goal here, definitely get back right in this game. And to stay in stride with a, a great Hopedale team. Nice shot from number three and a better save. Number three for Milford is Andrew Gallagher. A lot of speed on that shot. Number seven, Dan Hollis was up to the task of making the save. Nice stick save there. Here's 16 up high for Milford. Big shot from nine outside for Milford. It's Ryan Hazard. But he is wide with the shot. May have been deflected. Milford retains possession. Number three, Gallagher over to 16. And Hopedale gets their man back, and he comes in and makes a play. <clears throat> and trying to regain possession is Hopedale. That's going to be blue ball. Number five, Tyler Small brings it in for Hopedale. Over to Fayad. Fayad to number nine. Fayad with a shot and a save by Hazard. It's way out of bounds. Two minutes, 57 seconds to go here in this first quarter. Nice pass. <laughs> number five inside to number nine for the score. So Tyler Small with a nice pass from behind the net in front to number nine, and he gets it by Hazard with ease. Can't really, can't really fault Hazard there with a man so close in front of the net with possession of the ball. That's an easy score for anyone. So 3-0 for the Raiders. 
with two minutes, 35 seconds to go. Here's a face off. Nice takeaway there by number 16 for Milford. Danny Farrell. Number 21 for Hopedale looking to gain possession, but number 20 gains possession here for Hopedale. It's Blake Moxon. He tries to make something happen. Dale working it around. Again, taking their time looking for the openings. Fayad over to Thoreau. Oh, nice shot right under the bar. Number four, Nick Fayad, his second goal of the game. Again, Hopedale was patient, looked for the opening. Fayad just walked right in and went top shelf over Hazard. It's 4 nothing Raiders with 1 minute 16 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Nice scoop face off there, one by Patrick, oh, I'm sorry, one by Ryan Hazard. Here on the outside is number 22, Mike Demko for the Hawks. He goes all the way around back of the goal over to Brendan White. White looking for options, absorbs a little hack there. Over to number three, Andrew Gallagher. Gallagher up top to 24. Blanchett and he back to number nine, Hazard. Hazard looking for a shot. He goes for a low one, a lot of speed, but he misses the net. Here's number 20 for Milford, Josh Lagore. Also plays football with the counterpart they just passed to, Brendan White. White looking for 24, Blanchett. Top to number three, Gallagher. Over to Hazard. Hazard misses the pass to Blanchett. I'm sorry, to Gallagher, and that's going to go out of bounds for Hopedale. 16 seconds here in the first. See if Hopedale can. Nice behind the back flip. Oh, right in front of the net. What a beautiful play there. Wow. <laughs> that was just, I didn't get to see the number of the, who made the flip pass behind the back. But that's definitely going to be on his highlight reel as the Raiders once again score right before the end of the first. There's eight seconds left. It's 5 nothing, And that was just a beautiful play all around. Very impressive. And once again, the Raiders showing why they are 6-0 and on the season so far. So with eight seconds left in the first, we'll have a faceoff here. If you're Hopedale, you just want to Hold this ball and not let Milford have any shot here with two seconds to go, and that's the end of the first. So very impressive showing so far from Hopedale as they go up 5 nothing, and that last goal was a dandy. Just great team passing and awareness of each other on the field, and that pays off for Hopedale. So let's see if the Hawks can regroup and come up with a better game plan for the second quarter here 
and we'll take a break here on Milford TV. All right, back here at Milford High School for the start of the second quarter between Hopedale and Milford. Hopedale's going to start off with possession, up 5 nothing. And I'm sorry, I missed the number of the player who made started that last play that led to a goal. Just a beautiful, beautiful behind-the-back flip pass. And that was worked right in down the middle and a high shot beat Hazard for the fifth goal for the Raiders. Oof. And some tough defense by the Hawks shown by number 32. C.J. Sorella, he laid out his man after the flip shot and Sorella's going to go to the bench now. I don't believe that was a penalty. Oh, it was. Okay, so maybe a cross check. I did not hear the call. Pretty hard shot from Sorella leads to a man advantage for Hopedale, and that's the last thing Milford needs right now, being down 5 nothing. So up top 23 over to tw uh, number 4, uh, Fayad, who already has two goals today. Number 21 works it back to number 20, Moxham, and there's a goal. I believe that was number 1, Soro. So you've seen the, the usual suspects here so far for Hope Dale, Saro, Fayad, they're just working it, finding the seams against Milford, and they're already up 6 nothing. The same as their record for this season so far, 6-0, and and they're up 6-0 and on the Hawks. Hawks have had four or five shots on quality shots on net so far, but nothing doing. So, and there's a trip, and that's going to give the ball back to Milford. <coughs> so there's Hazard over to number three. Gallagher over in the outside to 22. Demko. And that's Lagore behind the net over to White to Blanchett, over to Hazard. So working it around the world here for the Hawks, trying to find something, some kind of opening. Here's Lagore behind the net. He creates some space for himself. The pick from his teammate, and here's Brendan White looking for the handle, he lost it. And Lagore's gonna come help him out, flip it up, but the defenseman for the Raiders, number 11, Robbie Seifering gets it back. And number 15 is being harassed here. He works it back to the goalie. The goalie steps out of the crease to make the play. And 22 for the Hawks is going to be called for a penalty for a slash. I missed that call. Uh, 22... That is Mike Demko, so he's going to take a knee for the time being. And Hazard's going to come off the field as well. So he'll be substituted. All right, Hopetail with the ball, working around the net. And out in front, number five. Tyler Small works it over. And back to 21 behind the net. 21 is Warren. Warren brings it out up top. Who knows where that pass was supposed to be, but that's out of bounds. I think Warren th thought he had someone out high, and he missed on that one. So here's number 24 for Milford, Blanchette. 
and possession's going to go back to Hopedale. Patrick Liddy is number nine. Hey, I found number nine on the roster. I don't know why I couldn't find it before. Uh, Patrick Liddy is number nine. And he passes over to number four and behind the net to oh, turnover here. And Brendan, uh, that's Blanchett with the ball for Milford. He works it all the way up over to Brendan White. Brendan White's got a good angle. He takes a good shot, but just out in front of the goal. Dan Hollis, the goalie for Hopedale, was in good position to make the stop, but the shot from White was on a tough angle, so not much of a chance there. So here's White with the ball again. Nice spin move, trying to get away from number 11, Robbie Seifring. Still working on Seifring. He gets out in front of him. Now he's got a lane, and Seifring, nice stick check there, and he forces the ball out of White's stick. And Hollis brings it out. <clears throat> and here's a chance for Hopedale. As Nick Fayad goes to collect it. Fayad with the ball now. Beautiful day for lacrosse here. Perfect weather. Low 60s, not a lot of wind, and a lot of sun. And we got a penalty call here. And number 20 is collected. Blake Moxham actually caught the flag in his stick, so that was pretty fun. All right, what's the call here? Anyone know? Seven minutes, 44 seconds left to go. In the second quarter, score 6-0, Raiders, and the Raiders with the ball. Working it on the outside, up top to Small, back to 21, I'm sorry, to 20, to 21, to Small. And number 20, wow, <laughs> number 20, Blake Moxham. Lace that one, and it went right inside the post on the far far side of Hazard. Oh, another great shot, and you know Hazard in good position, but that ball was labeled for the outside post, and there's not a lot of goalies that can stop that. It had a lot of heat on it. So great shot and a great goal from Blake Moxham, number 20 for Hopedale. So Hopedale wins the faceoff, brings it up the middle, and there's going to be a call here. So 7 nothing, Raiders with 7 minutes, 17 seconds left in the second. We're going to have a timeout. All right, back to action here at Milford High School as Hopedale takes on the Milford Hawks on this beautiful day in Milford, Massachusetts. All right, number four for Hopedale, passes to number 120. Here's Liddy with the ball. He passes it behind the net to Ethan Warren. Warren outside to Moxham. Moxham inside to Liddy. Liddy with a shot, but Hazard was ready on that one. Beautiful save by Hazard, showing why he has one of the better saves percentages in the league. So Hazard bringing it outside the crease now and gets it over to middle coat brought it up the middle from that pass from Hazard. Now behind the net is Lagore. Lagore taking some nice strides out in front of the net. He turns and he fires and he scores. So nice individual effort by Josh Lagore, bringing it out from the back of the net, finding a lane and turning quickly, surprising Hopedale's goal. 
goalie for the score. Seven to one now as the Hawks are back in this game with 6.15 in the second quarter. So still a lot of time for the Hawks if they want to turn things around. Here's Hazard on the faceoff for Milford. He wins it up, and he's going to go and try and collect it himself. And here's a nice ruck in the middle of the field. And out of it comes Hopedale, and that is number one, Soro. Soro gets it over to 21, Ethan Warren, but he loses position. It's way behind the net now, but Soro gathers it back up. Soro taking his time. And he just rolls it over easily to number 20, Blake Moxham. Here's a Liddy up top. Liddy to Warren. Warren works it behind the net. Decent shot by Soro, but it was a bit wide and got deflected out of bounds. Here's Fayad. Oh, and Soro fires it off the post. So Fayad to Soro, but they can't come up but anything with anything but iron there on that shot. And Milford's going to have the ball now. Here's Hazard working up top, trying to get through two defenders. And Lagore's going to try and track this down before it goes out of bounds. And he does. He collects it. Being defended by number 13 for Hopedale, Isaac Moore. Now <coughs> White gets it back up top to Hazard. Hazard looking for a lane. And a shot, hard shot, but wide. That goes out of bounds. All right, here's number 22 for Milford. Mike Demko into Brendan White. Nice hard shot, but easily stopped by Dan Hollis, the goalie for Hopedale. Hollis throws it up top to his defenseman. Number 11, they got to make sure they stay on sides here. So number 11... Seifring and number 20 Blake Moxham finds the back of the net again and that's going to be 8 to 1 Hopedale so moments ago we had the nice goal on an individual effort from Josh Lagore but Moxham comes right back the nice alert play from Seifring, who was the defenseman who brought it up, made sure he had the right numbers back in his own zone to avoid the offsides. And Hopedale scores again. 8-1 with 4 minutes, 6 seconds left to go in the second quarter. We're going to take a quick break here on Milford TV. Back to action here. The score 8-1, Hopedale. Milford with possession here, number 24. Blanchette, Blanchette up top to Hazard. Over to Gallagher. Gallagher is looking to move this process a little quicker. He takes a shot on net, but it hits the back of the twine. And number seven, Hollis, the goalie for Hopedale, plays it out. A long shot down the field. Number 21 collects it for Hopedale. That's Ethan Warren. And inside, a nice save by Hazard there. The man known as Beeves makes the shot, makes the stop of the shot from Hopedale. And Hazard fires it back, back out to his brother, the other Hazard. And he's going to bring it inside. And maybe Milford could build off of that. Here's White with the ball now. White being worked by two defenders, so there's a hole somewhere. Here's the Ligore looking to work inside, but a trio of Raiders comes over it. Here's a nice check by Ligore. Oh, are they going to call that a cross check? 
from on the back. All right. That's too bad. If his man had turned back to his side, that would have been a great check. But Lagore was not stopping on that play. He was a man on a mission. And he's going to sit down for a few. Throws up his hands like, what I do? But we all saw it, Josh. So take a knee. Nice hustle by Lagore. Unfortunate for the call there. And I think we're looking for a ball here. And Hollis is in the net, looking behind the net for some reason. I'm not sure why. Okay. And that ball comes out to the ref at the middle of, middle of the field. And back to action here. As Hopedale brings it up, that's number one, Brian Soro, who has a couple goals today. row up top back of the net it's Ethan Warren Warren trying to work inside and there's a call here so Hope uh, Hopedale's going to lose possession Milford's got the ball here's number 24 for Milford Blanchett he works it up the field with two men on him and we got another penalty flag flying here. And Milford's going to retain possession for the moment. Here's Hazard. He's looking to shoot. Turning on his man inside. Gets an angle. Oh, tough angle, though. He had the step on his man, but he was the angle was uh, right at the side of the net. So tough shot. Low percentage shot there. Thanks for joining us on this beautiful day at Milford High School. Again, I'm Bobby Moonchild, not Tim Coet. And beside me on camera is Neilan Reisman, and this is our first time covering lacrosse ever. So I hope we're doing a decent job. Here's a shot, a high shot from number 16. That's Danny Farrell, the midfielder. And Milford gets the ball back inside. Oh, a nice chance, but a... A better check by number 13. Number 13, Isaac Moore, the defenseman for Hopedale, is right on top of that shot from number 22, Mike Demko. Demko has doubled over a bit. He, he felt it on that hit. Again, great defense there. Here's Hazard, rips it. And oh, this is on the outside of the net. That was deceiving. It looked like it might have found its way in, but... That was on the outside of the net, so no goal. Nice shot from Hazard, though, as he had a lane. And here's uh, oof, number one. That's Soro taking up the field, getting hacked and whacked by two Milford defensemen, but he works his way out of that. And number five collects the pass. That was Tyler Small collecting it on the outside. Now back up top to Soro and over to, I think that's number four, Fayad. Fayad takes a shot and is collected by Hazard, the goalie for Milford. So Hazard's had a couple of nice saves in these last few moments of the second quarter. And I, f I feel like the Hawks are riding the wave of that momentum. Let's see them bring it up here with 25 seconds left. Number 25, number 27 for the Hawks is Will Middlecoat. And we're going to have a timeout here by the Hawks as they look to do something with 25 seconds left in the second quarter. Hopedale's just had a lot more quality chances in this first half of play. And they've been very tight on defense not giving a lot of quality shots to the Hawks. The Hawks have had to really work hard to get any chances at all. They're not really, Hopedale's not really giving Milford any lanes to bring the ball inside. So a lot of Milford shots have come from tough angles. Hazard in net is a smaller in stature net minder for the Hawks, but again, his save percentage is right up there in the league. 
And he's doing his best to keep Milford in the game right now. It's the last three shots he's stopped. So with 25 seconds to go in the second quarter, after the timeout, the Hawks are going to regroup and see if they can get a score after this timeout. So Ryan, Ryan Hazard has the ball up top for the Hawks, and the clock starts, and with 23 seconds, he's going to work it over to number three, Gallagher. Gallagher back to Hazard. Hazard's taking it in himself. He loses the ball with a nice hack from the defenseman, number 25, Alex Waswill for Hopedale. So... Seven seconds here. Milford's got to do something. Number th Nice defense again by Hopedale. And Gallagher is not going to have any kind of chance there. With one second left, not much he can do. And that's going to be the end of the second, second quarter. So with the score, eight to one. We take the break for the half. And it's probably a good thing for the Hawks as they need to communicate and talk things out and figure out what they need to do in the second half to at least be competitive in this game because right now it's looking like a route from the very tough Hopedale Blue Raiders. So we'll be back here with coverage of Milford High Lacrosse, Boys Lacrosse versus Hopedale on Milford TV. Back here for the start of the second half. Hopedale up eight to one. And off the faceoff, here's Soro right up the field. Quick shot, wow. Hopedale wasting zero time there. That was, I believe, 10 seconds. So Soro over to number 20. Blake Moxham, and Moxham just fires it right past Hazard in net for the Hawks. And it's 9-1 to one for Hopedale. Ten seconds that play took. Wow, Hopedale is good. And here's the faceoff. And Hazard works it out in front, but again, Hopedale. Here's Soro again. Soro over to 10. Wollen sack, and he goes... And who's got the ball now? 21 up top over to number 20. There's Moxham who just scored the goal inside to number four, Fayad. Fayad recollects the ball. Fayad behind the net. And up top to Moxham, he wants another, but he fires that one way wide. And Fayad behind the net, bringing it in for Hopedale. Over to number five. Back to Fayad. Number five, Tyler, Tyler Small with the ball up top to Ethan Warren. Warren bringing it down low. Fayad behind the net. Here's... Warren up top. I'm sorry, Warren with the ball now. Back to Fayad. Moxham to Soro. Oh, inside to Fayad. But Fayad can't find the handle. And Hazard for the Hawks takes it out. And the hazard pass is going to go over to Soro. Soro, I believe that's going to be a warding call, maybe? I'm not sure. And Soro still with the ball now, fighting through 
virtually every every defender at Hazard giving a whack. And he just flips. Oh, <laughs> Hazard with a wait, a late push. Uh, and Sarro did not have the ball, so that's going to be another penalty. Hopedale now with possession. And they're going to work this around the horn here. And up top, Liddy. And here's Max Moxham again. And that is his shot there. That's his spot. Moxham again with the goal, even after two penalties are thrown. Penalty flags are thrown, I should say. And it's 10-1. to 1. The route is on for the Raiders. The Raiders wasting no time. That's tough luck for the Hawks as you hoped they would come out of the half with a little bit more. But right now, Hopedale is just locked in. So, back to the middle of the field for another faceoff after a goal. So 9-16 left in the third. It's 10-1. Hopedale. Here's Liddy for Hopedale with the ball, bringing it up the right side. Over to Fayad, back to Liddy. And a nice save there from Hazard. Hazard looking for an option and not seeing many of his own players to help him out. He's going to work it around and the net is completely empty now and Hazard almost loses it, regains possession, throws it out to Brendan White, skips over his head to number 22. And now the there's just going to be a whole lot of hacking going on until someone gets the ball and out of bounds steps number 13. Isaac Moore for Hopedale. He recollected the ball but stepped out of bounds. Just a lot of sloppy play from the Hawks right now. Hopedale just staying calm, cool, and collected. And we're going to have a timeout. We'll step away here on Milford TV. <laughs> Back here at Milford High School as number 13 for Hopedale. Loses the ball on a nice play, defensive play from the Hawks. Number 13 is Isaac Moore. So regaining possession will be the Hawks. And there's still enough time in this game that they can generate some offense if they want to stay competitive in this game. So we'll see what happens here. Nice spin moves from number three. That's a Gallagher for the Hawks. Pretty decent student section here cheering him on as he makes some moves around a trio of defenders f for the Raiders. And the pass from Hazard is recollected by Lagore. Nice hustle by Lagore. Gore's going to watch that free hand as he gets it back out to White and back to Gallagher. Gallagher back up top to Hazard. So let's see if the Hawks can settle in here and find some offense. Hazard taking it right up the side and goes for the bounce shot, but it goes over the net. Hazard's had that look a couple times where he just rushes in from the right side to take the shot. Here's White with the ball now. Here's Gallagher again. Gallagher looking for a shot. And that's a nice save by Hollis. Dan Hollis, the goalie for Hopedale. Gallagher had a nice line. But Hollis has been solid in net all game. Here's Hopedale with the ball now. To Liddy, Liddy to Soro. Soro up the middle, finds a lane, takes a shot, and it's wide. Never really had a chance on that one. Defended well by number 16, Danny Farrell. And, oh, right off the pipe 
is Moxham again. And Moxham, that is his shot on the left side. And they're going to give it to him again. And he's uh, this time defended by Gallagher. Gallagher makes Moxham not take that shot. Here's a straightaway shot from number four. Nick Fayad, who has a couple games, and Hazard makes a nice save. Again, Hazard looking for help on the defensive end, trying to work it out of his goal. And it's dropped, uh, but Hazard picks it back up. And here's Gallagher again midfield, bringing it up into the offensive zone. As the wind picked up, picks up a little bit here. The wind had been a little bit dead earlier in this game, but it's picking up now. Still a beautiful day outside, but the temps are dropping a bit. Here's Hazard up top, working around with Gallagher. And Hazard looking for something straight away, but he throws it away. He was looking for number 24. He was looking for Blanchett, but Blanchett was not tall enough to gather in that pass. Here's Hopedale with the ball now, number five. Tyler Small loses it for Hopedale, so now the ball is up for grabs, and out of it comes Fayad. Fayad to Liddy. Liddy to Small. Small over to Moxham. That's his shot. Let's see if he's going to take it again. He's looking for a lane to be cleared, though, and he doesn't like his angle, so he gives it back to Small. Small. Over to Fayad. Oh, and he finds Moxham right in front. And that's a great play by Fayad. Fayad's been a, doing a great job behind the net all day. And if you're going to find one player right now, just take a shot. It's Maxim, Moxham, and he finds him, and it's 11-1 Raiders. Again, a play that Hazard really didn't have a chance on. Just great movement. And it's 11 to 1 now. <clears throat> so, Hazard with the ball now for the Hawks. And Hazard. I'm not calling it a desperation shot, but he's trying to generate something for the Hawks. And. A nice save by Hollis for Hopedale. <laughs> Number 22 for the Hawks. Mike Demko just hacking away. And Milford's going to get the ball back here. So here's Lagore who had the, the lone goal so far for the Hawks. He brings it out to White. White loses it. Lagore, Lagore recollects and loses it again. White helps him out and tries to find the ball. Can't pick it up. Here's Gallagher trying to find the handle, and he can't. And the ref says... Nope, put the ball here. We'll reset. Gallagher, I'm sorry. Uh, yep, Gallagher with the ball. Up top to Hazard. Hazard spinning the ball in his stick. And Hazard finds a lane and scores. Great effort by Hazard. Splitting the def defenseman right up the middle. And fires a low shot in between. The legs of Hollis. It's 11 to 2, Hawks. So the Hawks a little bit more fired up here in the third. With four minutes, 10 seconds to go. They're going to need a lot more of that to even stay in the game, though, as this is. Uh, just a monumental lead by the Raiders. And here's number eight for the Raiders, bringing it up, dropping it off. Number eight, Jeremy Martin. First time I called his name so far. And up top is number one, Soro. Soro just holding, waiting for some options. Out to challenge is number 16, Danny Farrell for the Hawks. Soro gives it over to Fayad. Fayad has a couple of really nice assists on the day, working the ball behind the net and finding open shooters. Here's Liddy 
over to Soro. Over to Martin. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. Number eight is Jeremy Martin, and he loses the handle, and Hazard collects the ball. Hazard's been doing all he can today to keep that ball out of the net, but just quality, quality scoring chances. Beautiful passing from the Raiders, and easy scores for them as they've been moving the ball really well. Here's Gallagher now with the ball for the Hawks. He's going to make a nice move off the defender, and a ball goes off the head of Lagore <laughs> off the shot from Gallagher. There's going to be some discussion now, and he gets the ball, but Lagore comes back out from the corner, and he looks up top. <clears throat> Lagore's pass was intended for Will Middlecoat, but it gets taken back, and nice, and here's White with a great play, uh, stopping the outlet pass. But he loses the ball. Milford's going to retain possession. Here's White trying to split the D. And he loses the ball in the process. And White still White and Lagore fighting. And there's a big push by White. And White's got something to say, but he backs off wisely. So Lagore and White have been really working that corner on the offensive side for the Hawks. They're a tough duo to get past, but Hopedale's been up to the task so far. And now number 11 for Hopedale, bringing it up, being whacked by Hazard. Whoa. <laughs> Hazard brought that stick up pretty high. And we got a fight going on. We're not going to show that uh, because that's just not unsportsmanlike. That is very unsportsmanlike. We're not going to show that at all, Neelan, right? Okay. Back to action here after a brief tussle. And it looks like White, Brendan White, will be ejected from this game after that fight, which we will not show you. All right, here's Liddy, who brings it out up top over to Moxham. Moxham, again, dangerous on that side. A nice pass and off the iron. Beautiful pass from Moxon down low to number four, Nick Fayad, but Fayad puts it off the pipe. And we'll get a whistle here. As Soro had the ball, but he's got to leave it behind. So tempers flared a few minutes prior to this as... Uh, Behind the play, way behind the play in the offensive zone for Hopedale. Uh, Brendan White went at it with a couple of Hopedale Raiders. And I do not believe Brendan White is allowed to come back in this game. So let's see what happens now as we still have a full minute left to go in the third and a full fourth quarter left to play. Can the Hawks come back? Lagore with the ball here in the corner. Up top to Gallagher. And Blanchett up top for the Hawks now. Gallagher looking for a seam. And now Hazard up top. Hazard brings it down. He scored already today. So Hazard and Lagore have the goals for the Hawks. Here's Lagore. And this is how he scored earlier in the game. Nice pass. Looking for number 22. Mike Demko. So Lagore spun off his man, looked for Demko streaking in, but Demko, Demko could not collect it. Demko would have had an easy goal there. So here's Hollis firing it up to number five, Tyler Small for Hopedale. Small being harassed by Gallagher. Gallagher with a good whack on his stick. And up top, and a nice save by Hazard. So Soro with a last second shot at the end of the quarter. It's collected by Hazard in goal. And that's going to stand 11 to 2 going into the fourth quarter. The Hopedale Raiders, Blue Raiders, just asserting themselves here on the turf field at Milford High School as they lead 11 to 2. And we'll be right back with the fourth quarter here on Milford TV. Back to action now at the start of the fourth quarter. 
11 to 2 is a score. Hazard loses a face off to Hopedale. Hopedale brings it up and uh, Moxham tries to get the pass and he can't collect it, but recollecting. Oh, here comes number 16 for the Hawks <laughs> to knock the ball out. Uh, but they called a timeout before that. Danny Farrell, number 16, <clears throat> was about to knock the ball loose from Hopedale, but a timeout was called. All right, here we go. Back to action. Hopedale with the ball. Here's Moxham. Over to Liddy. Liddy up top being defended well. And that pass is going to get away from Fayad. Fayad now. Up top to Liddy. Liddy works it down to Fayad. Here's Soro. Great position by Soro and a great feed again by F Fayad. Fayad likes to work in Gretzky's office behind the net. And it is now 11 to 12 to 2 as I have lost a part of my scoreboard. Let me fix that here. So it's 12 to 2 in the fourth. Non-stop offensive barrage by the Hopedale Raiders had led us has led us here. The lone goals on indiv individual efforts from Hazard and Lagore for the Hawks, and here's Hazard now with the ball. Still a four qu uh, full quarter to work here, and Hazard tries the bounce shot. But it goes wide. Here's 22, Blanchette spinning around the net. I'm sorry, Mike Demko is number 22 with the shot there for the Hawks. Now Demko and number 13, RJ Stansbury. Stansbury in the game now as White has been ejected for a fight earlier this past in the third quarter. A uh, nice shot from Gallagher, but a better stop by Dan Hollis, the goalie for Hopedale. And now Stansbury taking wax. Uh, he hit him in the back. He can't do that. And Stansbury knows right away he's got to go sit in the box. So R.J. Stansbury also plays hockey for the uh, Hopedale Mills Milford team. He's going to take a timeout as you can't slash the back of an opponent, that is a no-no. We see as the, uh, in the crowd now some of the members of the Milford High softball team who have just defeated the Foxborough Warriors a few hundred feet away from us at this, on the softball field. Now filter into the stands and pretty good student section here. Good support from other students watching the lacrosse team here versus Hopedale. Here's Liddy over to Moxham. Uh, back inside, down low to number 21, Ethan Warren, who has his shot go out of bounds. Here's Fayad over to Warren, over to Moxham, who likes that shot, that angle there. Liddy up top. Liddy to Moxham, back to Liddy. And they're just going to play catch here until Moxham fires over to Soro. And a nice save by the man they call Beeves in net hazard. And hazard. Hazard's had trouble bringing it out for the Hawks all day. And he works it over to 19 for the Hawks. And Hopedale regains possession. And here's a lane. Nice check there for number 19. Oh, what was wrong with that? Got him from the side, but I guess. Who is that? Number 19. I don't have a 19 on the roster. I'm sorry. Oh, 
Well, unfortunately, we're not quite sure who number 19 is for the Hawks, but it was a nice play nonetheless, but the ref didn't like it. So, Hopedale regains possession here. Moxham over to Soro. Moxham back to 21. Ethan Warren and Moxham. I feel like Hopedale is uh, giving Milford a bit of a chance to come back in this game, make it a little bit competitive. Relaxing a little bit here on the offensive side with the man advantage, and they still score. That's Liddy, number nine, with the shot from the right side. And that beats Hazard. And it is now 13-2 in favor of the Hopedale Blue Raiders. With eight minutes and 34 seconds left. All right, here's the face-off here at the center of the field. Gets flipped out to Soro, number one for the Hopedale Blue Raiders. Here's Soro working with Moxham on his left side. Back to Moxham. To Soro. Over to 21 Warren to Moxham. And Soro, Moxham, Warren. And they're just going to play catch for a while. Going to passively looking for an offensive seam here. And they're just going to look to work the clock here as they have a tremendous lead. And here's Soro. He's had enough of the passing, so he's going to start running around looking for an opening. Comes way out high up top. And he's worked himself into a worse position than he started. Here's Liddy now. Liddy working the right side and finds number four, Fayad, behind the net. And up top to... Moxham, Moxham bounce passes over to Liddy, and Liddy loses the handle. Yeah, who's number 16? Oh, that's Daryl. Danny Farrell. Oh, number 16 is Danny Farrell, who I did have on the roster. Just couldn't find... 16, I thought he was 19. So, confusing my numbers here, I'm sorry. No, there is a 19 that we still don't know <laughs> the number is. That's the... Again, apologize for confusion. Here's Gallagher here with a high shot. A lot of power on that shot, but just misses the top corner. So this is our very first lacrosse coverage ever for Milford TV. So we're just getting settled into names and numbers here today. So Hopedale collects the ball here with six minutes, 14 seconds left to go in the game. The Raiders up 13 to two commanding performance here today on the field turf in Milford. Here's Soro directing traffic. He wants Fayad to go back behind the net where he works some great, he's been working some great passes all day, so he'll look for a shot. Nope, he gives it back to Fayad. Fayad over to Ethan Warren. Warren over to Moxham. Here's Small, Tyler Small. Back up top to Liddy. Liddy making a move. And he finds Fayad back behind the net. Here's Small again. Mocks him. And here's Soro. Soro, great defense by number 24 there. 
Blanchette. Here's Moxham. Oh, he loaded up, but no shot there as he gets whacked by Hazard a few times. Here's Liddy again. Liddy over to Small. Moxham, that's a shot, but Hazard doesn't let him take it this time, and he gives him a push and a whack and another whack, and that's going to be a penalty. Maybe a little bit of excessive work there by Hazard. A little bit of frustration in this game earlier for the Hawks as a fight broke out and Brendan White was ejected. But here's Moxham looking for that shot again, and Hazard's going to work again, just hacking away, not letting him take that shot that Moxham has scored on at least three or four times today. I lost count. Uh, here is Soro up top high. And passes it over to number four, Fayad, who fires a shot, and that goes wide. We have four minutes and 17 seconds left in the fourth quarter and the game. <laughs> uh, number 20, Blake Moxham, uh, reenacting what happened to him earlier with Hazard defending him and just whacking away. And that's why... I believe that's why the Raiders have a man advantage here. And number five, Tyler Small brings it over to Liddy. Liddy is uh, back to Fayad in the back of the net, and he likes that there. So he's going to look for a pass out, for, and here's Moxham. Back up top to Small. Small working his way down low, and he's getting whacked by number 16. And Hopedale loses possession. Here's number 24, Chase Blanchett for the Hawks. He's wasting no time bringing it up the field. He works it into the offensive zo zone to Lagore. Lagore back behind the net now. Lagore with that spin move he scored with earlier, looking for that, and he can't find it. Defended well by number 11, Robbie Seifring. Seifring's had a couple of nice defensive plays so far in this game. And here's Gallagher looking for a nice shot, but that is wide. He came in with some nice speed, had a good angle, but just fired it wide. There's three minutes left in this game. Let's see if the Hawks can... Get at least one more goal to close this deficit a little bit. Here's Hazard trying to do it all himself. He's defended by two defenders. Gallagher now. Gallagher over to Lagore. Lagore back to Gallagher. Will Middlecoat with the ball now, number 27 up high, over to Hazard. Hazard spins the ball and uh, tries to get it back to Middlecoat, but that pass is way offline. And maybe just trying to do too much there for Hazard, but can't blame him as they'll take anything at this point. In the game, two minutes, 24 seconds left to go. Hopedale with the ball. Here's Fayad behind the net. Working with Ian Warren. Warren over to Moxham. Moxham just takes his time here. He's probably sick of getting hacked, so he just gives the ball up. Here's Liddy up top from Small over back to Small. Back to Liddy. Defended by Gallagher. And Gallagher is going to come out aggressively at him, so he. Throws the ball away, but nice job by Moxham to come out and help out Small. Moxham now to Warren. Warren's going to take his time here. And up high to Small. And that's Soro now. Soro flips it back. Oh, fakes the flip to Fayad, and he keeps working around back up top to Moxham. Here's Warren. 
to Moxham. Moxham's being worked, but he's spinning out of it. And over up top to 23, Jack Heavey. And Heavey getting some offensive looks here late in the game. Up 13 to 2. Heavey with the ball. And back over to Small. And Fayad. I believe that's Fayad. Yep, Fayad behind the net where he likes to work. And he tries to make a move out front, but he loses the ball. <clears throat> and the story of this game has been just offensive dominance by the Blue Raiders. And you can't really fault many of those goals, goals on the goaltender Hazard as he did his best, but just too many good looks, quality looks for Hopedale led to 13 goals on the board. And Hopedale also did a great job on the defensive end as Dan Hollis, the goalie, stopped the few quality shots that Milford had. And in the end, only two goals could be shown by Milford as Josh Lagore and Hazard are the only goal scorers for Milford. And so that'll do it. As the score stands 13 to 2, the Hopedale Blue Raiders just absolutely dominant in this one. And that's going to do it here today for our very first coverage ever of Milford Boys Lacrosse here at Milford High School. So for my counterpart on camera, Neelan Reisman, working camera after he'd just been in a car accident. Great effort by him. I'm Bobby Moonchild signing off, and we'll see you again next time. Thanks for watching Milford TV.